American Girl Dallas to go to the American Girl Girl of the Year Lila launch party. I am super duper excited, so I feel like that for their deal. Let's go. So here is what outside looks like. We have a big poster of Lila, and then we have her and her meat outfit with her horse. And then the rest of the displays are Corinne and the twins on the left. Then on the right side, we are, we have the Truly Me displays and another display of Lila with her gymnastics and gymnastics bar. You can't really see it because of there. There we go. Ah, look. Ain't you this? So right now we're heading upstairs to the beach show to do the brunch. Come on down here with me. Walking into the bistro, as you can see, all the tables are so pretty decorated. At the table, you got a Layla water bottle, candy bar, a goodie bag, which featured hair jewels, and an extra hair tie. You also got the doll. For food-wise, they had an exclusive menu featuring appetizers such as fruit and yogurt. I ordered the buttermilk pancakes as my entree, and then we had a dessert, which was the flower pot mousse at the event they also had a giveaway where you could win two items from her collection i did not win but i really liked that they had a giveaway option available and you could win some of her items so here i am putting my giveaway entry form in which i sadly did not win but it's fine next up we are at the doll hair salon for a hair appointment for one of my dolls while she's getting her hair done let's go ahead and take a look at some of the displays that are downstairs first up let's start with Lila section. So out of the glass when you first walked in they had a poster and then they had her gymnastics set which was super duper cute. Every time I go to American Girl Dallas I'm always super duper impressed by their displays. They always go above and beyond. They had the most cutest displays with her horse stable and her horse and then they had a display of kind of like a I guess a bundle or starter pack and then they had all of her outfits out. Super duper cute. I love her pajamas. They also had the pajamas for girls. I really enjoyed seeing all of Lila's collection on American Girl Dallas. They had such the best setup. It was super duper cute. And I'm just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with Dallas. I'm obsessed with Lila. So now we're gonna be taking a look at some other new items that American Girl has released recently. First up, we're gonna take a look at the new twin stuff. We just looked at the new re-release kind of outfits for them, and then they just have this shirt, American Girl Today shirt, which I'm thinking about getting. This is a display that features their pajamas, the popcorn set, and the sleepover set. Now we're on to Claudie's new items. She got two new outfits along with two new accessories. I'm loving that she's got new stuff. Now we're gonna take a look at the Truly Me holiday release. Oh my goodness, I love this year's release. I love this year's event calendar and the holiday dresses. Oh my goodness, they're super duper pretty. I think maybe this year might have to be my favorite mix and match line. I love the pastel pink. So girly, so cute. I just love it. It reminds me of my best friend Mia. This line is literally her. I also love how they collaborated with Something Navy again. Here are the holiday sweaters. They have one for Christmas and for one for Hanukkah this year. These are so cute and I love the accessories that you get. Next up is the collector dolls. Oh my goodness, I love how the stores have the collector dolls. They had Belle, Jasmine, the FAS Sports doll, which her display was amazing. And then they had the most recent holiday doll that just came out. These are all the birthstones outfits. I really love this display and how they set it up to be like a fashion American girl store. I just thought that was super duper cute. And the dolls are looking at outfits that they might buy. Like, oh my goodness. I just thought this was adorable. This is the new juice bar, which is kind of like an added accessory to the coffee shop. This was really cute. And then they also came out with like an extra kind of accessory pack for the coffee shop as well. Super duper cute. And then they also had kind of the new school mix and match a set with dolls modeling it. Here's the new state bags. American Girl collaborated with them to make a backpack, a luggage set, a lunchbox, and a fanny pack kind of purse. They did not have the purse or sold out of that, but I really want a state bag because they look really, really cute. So here we are. We are scoping out the new American Girl location. <laughs> Guys, here is the new store location. It's supposed to be two levels, okay? Oh my goodness, it has this American Girl sign. 2024 
first service dining, girl and doll salon parties, personal shopping, and then we have a permit. I don't think I'm gonna get in trouble if I should permit stuff. We have public information anyway, right? Wow. So it looks like they started working on it on the August 24th. Does not say when it's supposed to be done. It'll be so pretty, okay? It says then we have a cute little changer. Construction area, keep out. Girl, I would love to have a tour of this, a construction site. And then we have upstairs. So it looks like there might be two entrances. So one down here, one kind of in the parking garage. Says the same, same thing as what this says. We are now walking up the stairs to this parking garage where I'm assuming there'll be another entrance. Let's see if we can see anything, get some more. Scoop on the new store. Oh, look. So I'm assuming this is gonna be maybe another entrance because it also says American Girl coming in 2024. Same thing, but this side, we have some Truly Me dolls. As I was walking around the backside on the second floor in the parking garage, I noticed that they were working on it inside and they left the door open. So here is inside footage of what it looks like. Okay, there's lights inside on. We're seeing if we could see anything in the window. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh no, I see stuff. <gasps> oh, M, G. Oh my gosh. I don't really see that much, just construction work, not really AG stuff. But they're working on it. Alrighty guys, we are back at home from American Girl Dallas. Oh my goodness. I had so much fun. I don't even know where to begin because it was just amazing. I just had an awesome time. So I bought coffee to the whole party and stuff like that. You might have noticed I brought another doll as well. And we're not going to talk about that other doll right now. Like, because we, I might have found her when I went flea marketing around Dallas. And she got her hair done and, at the hair salon. And they did such a good job with her hair. Oh my goodness. But anyways, that's for a different video. It's coming. So I did want to show you guys what you got at the American Girl. They called it the launch party, but then I also saw they were calling it the Girl of the Year brunch event reveal. Usually, It's usually called the, the reveal, but this year it wasn't the reveal because she was out before the party. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what you got if you attended it. And then I also ended up getting the whole collection. I'm so excited. I don't know where it's going to go in the doll room, but I'm super duper excited that I got her whole collection. Um, that is going to be a different video. I'm going to unbox everything. I'm hoping to get it posted next week. We shall see because American Girl Dallas was out of her horse and so they had to order her horse. So I'm not really sure when her horse is supposed to be here, but I want to put the horse in the video. So whenever that shows up, <laughs> then, then it will get posted. I'm pretty sure it'll come like this week because usually stuff ships pretty quickly. But worst case scenario, we post a different video next week. It's fine. So anyways, and then I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got that wasn't a part of the American Girl um, Girl of the Year collection because I did pick up some other goodies as well that I wanted to show you guys that I'm really excited about. So first, let me show you what you got at the party. Okay, their whole setup at Dallas was so good. Like, oh my goodness, it was so pretty. So first up, you got a really cute little water bottle that has Lila on it. It's like cute little um, ribbon on top of it. it. makes a little bow. And then you got a Lila candy bar. This is in milk chocolate. I love milk chocolate. So this is like really cute. And she's on the candy wrapper. I love it when American Girl makes like these really cute like little like food stuff like this. Like water bottles and like candy bars. <laughs> Gets me every time. I love it. And you got this cute little doll size American Girl bag in it. We have the hair jewels for girls and for dolls. So you can use this for both on your hair and for your doll's hair. And then you got a hair tie, which I don't know where my hair tie went. I think it's in my backpack. It was like an extra hair tie. You know how you have hair ties when you dine into the American Girl Bistro or Cafe that's on the napkin holder? Well, you can take those home. It was an extra one of those. And then they had an exclusive menu. They let me take home the menu because it was just paper. So you had a choice of beverages. 
different entrees and then you got a dessert at the end and then you had um, appetizers too. They brought you cinnamon rolls, they brought you like this like fruit thing. You, you all saw it in the video, but you got a lot of stuff. It was a whole lot of food. Girl, I was full at the end. Like, it was, and it was really good, too. And then I took some of the flowers from the dessert, Muse Flower Pot dessert. You can take the flowers home, and they are so cute to put in your doll room. I have a cute little flower vase in Molly's room with these, and so I always have to take these because they're just so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some things that I picked up that I bought that wasn't a part of the Girl of the Year collection because, like I said, I got the whole collection. I'm so excited. I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm just so excited. And then I also got some extra stuff as well. So first thing I picked up, this was a absolute must because I do have the doll size shirt, but I didn't manage to get the shirt for me, and so I bought it. It's the American Girl Today shirt. Oh, this is upside down. Whoops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so here it is. It is super duper cute. It says American Girl, and it's the American Girl Today logo. This literally just matched the doll shirts perfectly, and I was super duper excited when they came out with these shirts for adults, because I was like, oh my goodness. I really hope American Girl continues making shirts for adults or making clothing pieces for adults because I love that and I really like that and I love to I love to match my dolls. I love a doll matching, a doll mom matching moment. And then they wrapped it up really, really nice. Okay, and then oh, I'm gonna show you these two items first. Okay, I got the Cobby's Wicked outfits. So this is like the princess one, the Glinda costume set. This is so pretty, oh my goodness. So I actually didn't have the Wicked outfits until now. I meant to pick it up when I went to American Girl Chicago for the benefit sale, but I forgot. And then I got the which one too, the Epitha? I don't know how to pronounce it. I've actually never seen Wicked. Um, I need to watch it because I've heard it's very, very good, but I've never seen it. Um, and I wanted these outfits because I wanted to complete um, Kavi's collection. So those were the only two pieces that I was missing for her collection. I thought I could use them as like Halloween costumes. I actually plan on using the, um, the princess gown one for her Christmas outfit because I think it looks very fancy and then I'll put the witch one outfit for, for Halloween. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought that was a good idea. And then the last two items that I got, I got the American Girl X State Bags Star Student Backpack Set for Dolls. Okay, so this was my first time seeing the school release. I missed so many releases. Oh my goodness. So, so many new things. It's very, very hard to like narrow it down what I wanted to come home with, but I ended up getting this because I really like the state bags. And so I thought about buying a bag for me, but I didn't. So I got the doll one. And plus, I didn't want this to sell out or anything because it is in collaboration with state bags, the backpack in this. So I really wanted that. I love the Chiefs, okay? I want to say that before I show this. I love the Chiefs so much. Full Hardly fan. Best football team in the world. Love them before Taylor Swift made them big. Like, I just I just love the Chiefs. So when I went to American Girl Dallas, so when American Girl released NFL stuff, I was really excited because, you know, Chiefs fan over here. Hi. Um, but also, like, they did other teams, too. I don't know. I thought that, like, you know how when you go into American Girl Store, you used to buy the t-shirts that said the store name? So I was like, oh my goodness, I could, like, buy the NFL team and have that be, like, my store souvenir when I visit a store. So that is kind of what I did with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader uniform. I bought this. I thought I could use it as like a cute Halloween costume or, um, you know, it could be a cute little store souvenir, like I said. That's kind of why I did it. And also, the Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium, was the first stadi football stadium I've ever been to. I saw Taylor Swift's Reputation concert there, and then I also went to her heiress tour there this past April. I saw the, her at AT&T, which is the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. And girl, that stadium is like really cool. Hopefully I don't come off as like a fake Chiefs fan because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. Alrighty everyone, so that it was kind of a quick, I don't even know what to call this if we're gonna be real. I had so much fun in American Girl Dallas. It was such a blast. Um, I can't wait for the new store to open because they are moving locations. They're moving out of the Dallas Galleria to the shops at Park Lane, I think is what it's called. The little mall that they're going to or the little area that they are moving into. I'm really excited for the grand opening of that. So I really want to go to the grand opening. I think it's going to be awesome. And like, I, I'm so excited for the new 
new store. Oh my goodness. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram if you haven't done so already. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows. Check me out on TikTok as well. Same name, Dollies and Rainbows. Check out my doll theme podcast called Doll Mom Podcast. I have a such exciting episode to post for October. It's so cool. I'm so excited. So you want to go listen to the past episodes before I post the really cool, exciting one. You can listen to it on your favorite podcast listening platform. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you think of the new girl of the year. Did you go pick her out in store? Did you order her online? What's your favorite American Girl store? Let a girl know down below. Get the conversation started if you're able to, of course. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.